Now, hello everyone, no respawns, hope you're doing well. So I've made a thing. Never made that joke before, have I? Yeah, anyway, it's a trailer. I wanted to add, so obviously in the last video we started building, um, and I mentioned this before, I do want to kind of build stuff around the castle. One, pad out the castle a little bit, because you guys seem to be liking the videos and I don't want to let go. <laughs> Even if we are scarily close to the end. Um, but at the same time, I did want to do, because this is obviously my main entrance, so I did want to have kind of a bit more shit out here, and also a bit more bigger shit. So I want, I wanted, I wanted big shit, basically. A nice, big, big trailer-shaped turd. <laughs> um, you see that? Randomly, you see that? Uh, muck, 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 mute fruit. So I finally got that out of the ground, so that's been stuck there for ages, and it turns out I accidentally sunk something off-camera, because I was trying different ideas that didn't work out. But I sunk something uh, off-camera, and I've been trying to get it, get out, get it out for ages. Turns out there's actually, like, a railing attached to it that means for whatever unholy reason I can't actually scrap or even move that stupid mute fruit. So the mute fruit's gone everyone. I know you were all very worried like I have been or bothered rather. I was pissed off with it for days but it's gone yeah. It's gone. It's good. I'm rid of it now. All of the farms are where they're meant to be which is inside the castle rather than that one time where I... So, so, so the reason why the thing was buried is because rather than like delete the farms on the inside I just select all and move them outside because I'm really lazy which meant loads of shit got buried. Yeah. So this turns out very good by the way. A lot of people have sent me kind of various trailers before you know using kind of... Uh, some of them have used this kind of big trailer part. I don't know what that's actually called. Is this called a trailer? Whatever, yeah. Trailer and truck part. But I've never actually... Oh yeah, tr flat truck, flat trailer, truck, flat bed. That thing. But I've never actually built anything from it because I just hadn't really been bothered, I guess. But I wanted to do something. And this turned out, as always, different than I expected, but quite cool. So I'm quite pleased. It also took me ages to decide on exactly what I was going to build on the flat bed. I thought it would be much easier. I was like, yeah, this will be a nice, easy one. I know I, I vaguely have an idea of what it's going to look like. Nope. Nope. So what I ended up going with is I initially didn't know what it was going to be as well. And then it kind of, as it started coming together, I was like, okay, I want this to be a cafe kind of restaurant vibe style thing. And also as well, link in the description, but I used, obviously, because in the last video we used Aslam's junk walls. I wanted to, because I'd done a mod review in it, I did want to use his decoration pack as well. So I do... In the tour at the end, you'll see that I actually used his decoration pack because obviously there's that shelves with all the bottles on it, which is really useful. So just so you guys can see it, kind of within a an actual build rather than just slap down, which is what I did before. It also meant that I actually forgot to do any junk decoration. <laughs> I did do loads of decoration, as you'll see, but there are no like junk bits, which I forgot about, so I has to do them. This part took me ages. I don't. Yeah, obviously, I, I chopped my videos up so you won't notice so much. But this is about. This is actually about. 20 minutes after the last part when you saw it flash out a little bit uh, because oh my god they're wrong way around damn it <laughs> um basically yeah no um because i couldn't decide how to do this decking part those foundations are rotated the wrong angle oh i take them off do i at least six do i at least oh no no it's fine it's fine i remember now i didn't use the foundations it's okay that's why i would i would have noticed all right all right <laughs> That's it, I make my own. That's it. <laughs> had a little panic there. Thought maybe I had something really, really awkwardly bad. Um, but yeah. So these ball track supports, very cool. Been singing their praises for a while now. I basically decided to just make my own little foundation because I wanted to use them. I like the mesh. You've probably noticed this already. I really, really like these mesh pieces. I think because they they don't stand out as much as the floor pieces. I get obsessed with texture and kind of how textures clash and how noticeable they are and shit like that. So I didn't want to use the foundation piece texture. And this turned out quite well. So I'm quite pleased about that. So that's cool. This took a while though. <laughs> People can ask me, I'm going to remind everyone again, I don't know what um, building I'm going to do next. People always ask me, what building do you do next? I'm like, eh. Um, and though people have suggested, oh, maybe you let us decide, to be frank, I'm quite whimsical, and if I let you guys decide, I'm immediately not going to want to do it. Because <laughs> I'm that kind of ass, so I'm like, oh, don't want to do it, no, your idea was shit, I want to do this one now. So, um, basically, I will be doing your favourite settlement that I haven't done yet, but I just, I just haven't, haven't done it yet, yeah? So it's good, don't worry, 
It's fine. I'll get there eventually. Um, and also, I am going to be decorating the inside of this castle. And I am going to be kind of showing you. Because it will be really boring if I just do it and then just have a tour. So I, I think I'm going to do some kind of decoration thing. Which will be soonish, actually. So there we go. So it looked quite dull. I was a bit worried as well. Because I'm using the kind of lots of wood bits. I'm always really conscious of when I'm using lots of wood bits. And not maybe like you're using kind of pre-existing structures. It looks a little bit samey. But I, I'm pleased with how random and weird it ends up looking. Also, this counter is my favourite counter. I really like this counter, but it's an absolute nightmare. I show you how to... I decided to leave this in. One, because I wanted to kind of, like, put in the building part of the video that, yo, this is a shop. But also, I kind of... Because this is my favourite counter to use. That use lots of glitching to get it in. Also, I, you see that down there? I don't know what that is. It's stuck in the ground. It's a piece of grass. It, does, it doesn't even say anything. It just says store it in the workshop. I'm like, all right. I will. Also, this is not how you get this in, by the way. I eventually changed my mind because I, I, I tried to do it a quick, easier way. But in actual fact, I did it a harder way because I'm an absolute knob. So basically, basically, if you go here, not that. Thing, that's too, oh, no, no. I've got to put the board in first, haven't I? Oh, yes. I forgot. So in we go. Oh, my internet's back up, by the way. Yep. Lady from... Virgin Media was only semi-lying. It would probably come up about 2 a.m. the following morning instead of 8. So it did come up. So it's fine. It's good. Hence why I'm actually up to upload this in a reasonably speedy time. So yes, you put these on here and you just rug it to them in. Instantly, do you want to know how shit my new work internet is, right? This is bad, don't worry. I'm I'm marking dudes, so I'm gonna get them to upgrade. I just don't I just think they've never needed to. They've never uploaded, they've just used it for browsing, you know, and LinkedIn and all that bollocks. Um, and, you know, checking out clients and all that crap. But it took me five hours to upload the last video. So what I think they've gone and done, right, and this is, I don't think this is like, oh, my God, that's diabolical internet. So here's what I think I've done. They have, they've been in this office for, like, ten years or maybe, like, six or something. No, maybe about ten. I think they've just set up the internet when they first moved in and never bothered to upgrade. That's what I think because it took me, okay, Fucking, it's only like six or seven of us working in this little office, but like, it took me five hours. I started uploading it about 9am, and then basically when you got, went live for you guys is when it, you know, fucking hell, five hours. Five hours! Anyway, doesn't that counter look cool? But yeah, get a new internet at the office. <laughs> After my probation finishes. Can't, you know, don't, don't want to start making requests until my probation finishes in three months. Which it definitely will, because I'm a very good employee. Yep. Yes, I am. Kind of. I don't know. It's been a while since I worked in an office, to be fair. <laughs> so this is coming together. It's coming together. It looks really cool with the decoration. These railings, don't worry, I don't leave them on. Because they looked absolutely bollocks. They looked cool from here. I thought, oh yeah, that looks alright. Nah. No, mate. No, it doesn't, doesn't work, really. Not really the look we're going for. I didn't know the look we're going for. God, I really want to finish the castle. Because I want to go questing. I want to do Bunk Hill. That's one I want to do. I've, I've never seen a Bunk Hill build. Ever. And I think the reason being is because... Some people can not unlock it. Spoiler. Oh, fuck it. It's been a year and a half now. Um, some people could not unlock it. But also, it's... It's quite later game as well. Like, once you get to the point where you're kind of unlocking Bunk Hill, you're kind of finishing the game. So, yeah. When I do the castle, one of the... The sooner settlements afterwards is Bunker Hill because it needs some love. Now, as always, I just wanted to make a weird little ramp going up staircase. This one should be fine. I'm pr no, no, no. This one does work, by the way. Actually, I remember this now because while I was decorating, see that thing came back as well. Um, while I was decorating, one of the settlers who I keep forgetting to assign her to do a job because she's a dosser um, was actually walking up and down these. So this actually works. Doesn't stop in interrupt the path thing. I think with these kind of non-standard elements like, you know, ramps and shit or stuff like that, these kind of things specifically, as long as you have, like, not too much area, that's not even, that's, that's not even English. What I'm going to say is, if you've got, like, a walkway, as long as there's most of it is stairs and stuff that the AI is path to walk across, you're fine, so you can have, like, little bits. They're programmed to kind of... Be able to be smart enough. So basically this works. That was... It's late. Shut up. <laughs> I laid in. 
<laughs> My brain's not switched on. <laughs> but I like this as well. This is a nice look. I love making little ramps. I'm just such a sad little person who likes making ramps. Because <laughs> they look cool, don't they? Such a little thing. Even here, look, look, look at this, look at this. Just stupid little bollocks. I just love this. Little this. Without this little additions, it wouldn't be the same, people. Yeah? Remember, it's all the little shit. It's cool. Look at that. Looking a lot, lot better now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Much better. All right, grand. Don't do that, David. Don't. Do that. It's fine. But there's a big gap. We sort the gap out. And for some reason, this wasn't going down. But I decided against it because it looked shit. Instead, opted for ye olde reliable plywood because it's just, just, just to kind of make it so people can stand there. I've got to start actually assigning my shopkeepers as well. I've realised I've not even done that yet. I've got to... I've got to do that. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. So all of my shopkeepers are mannequins. Except for that one shopkeeper, which actually is a mannequin, but not the static one, so he's fallen on the floor. So he's still a mannequin, but he's, you know, knocked over. So here we go, nearly it. This part here I wanted to show you just because, obviously, the shape. I couldn't fit this part in. So I just kind of use it as a kind of low-key storage area. Basically, it's my kind of just filling the void with junk. <laughs> so I put a load of boxes. Spoiler. Which works. But it's kind of my lazy thing. I'm going to I'm gonna spoil something for you. I'll ruin the magic, right? You'll see me do this a lot in my build. Where I'll pile up crates. And the only reason I do that is because I have no fucking clue what to put. I do it by decoration all the time. You'll see it inside here when I decorate it. It's just I do it because I let you down. That's why. I'm sorry. That's a useful technique, basically. Like, pallets like this, load of crates, load of barrels. There we go. If you have no idea what the fuck to do with an area. It doesn't even make sense. Why are there crates and barrels? Well, maybe it's full of food and beer and shit, but still. These crates here. These crates. You know the ones. Oh, aren't they brilliant? Why did we not have these in the base game without ones? <laughs> they're awesome! And they're so useful. For anything. I, I, you can make them as, like... Put beds on them. You can... Oh, they're so useful. You can build walls out of them. Put the barrels next to them. And basically fill up voids which you don't know how to decorate because you're, you're stupid or you're just too lazy to think of anything particularly complex. Right, tour coming! Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Stop moving. Fuck's sake. There we go. So here it is! I decided to put another motorcycle outside. If you in the other exit, there is a motorcycle out there. I don't know why. So it looks quite cool, doesn't it? Very, very wasteland little rest stop area. I just wanted to kind of have kind of something like this outside in the front of the castle. I mean, basically, this castle has so many shops; it's unbelievable. So I'm going to have to put shit tons of beds. It's going to have loads of settlers. But I quite like it. I wanted to do something kind of trailery. They're obviously going to be doing more building outside this area. I want to do some kind of bit more robust defences here. Because obviously it's quite a big entrance. But that will be in another video. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this. Check out the decoration as well. And my barman that doesn't know how to serve drinks. Because he doesn't actually have an organic brain. Um, using Aslems, as I said. Link in the description. I did a mod review. It is a great mod. And there's some cool stuff. People mentioned actually it increases. So the pre-made decoration stuff like that. Shelf. They increase your settlement size by quite a lot because it has shit tons of polygons. So people explained to me in the comments, so that was why um, when I placed a couple of them down, my settlement bar just maxed out. So just FYI there. So I've got some stuffs. Don't know why I put the junk workshop on there. It just looked cool. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no response. I'm a new video up soon. And you fantastic bunch. Yeah, yeah. You enjoy your weekend. Take care.